morning guys welcome back to my channel today is what is today thursday april 28th and your girl is exhausted and don't mind this right here this is the curling iron burn that i was telling you guys about in my last vlog very cute i know i am sitting down to start working i am so tired because Honey, where do I even begin? I don't know. Last vlog, I told you that she was like sick and going to the bathroom a lot. I think yesterday was her worst day. Like she was scratching at the door to go out like once every 30, 45 minutes to an hour, like throughout the whole day. And then it kind of got better around the evening. So I was hoping that we were gonna do good. I was gonna have a good night's rest. No, she literally scratched at the door every single hour to go outside to go poop and i felt so bad for her one time she didn't i don't know if she like had an accident while she was going to scratch at the door or if i just didn't hear her in time but she did end up pooping in our room once which is not bad for as many times as i let her out this morning so yeah i let her out once every hour and then i let her out at two something and then finally that was the last time i let her out before we got up this morning at 6 50 and i <laughs> log into work at seven o'clock so i was going to start my morning off by doing my little hit run on my treadmill but that did not happen because I felt like I literally didn't even sleep last night so love that for me last night around like 5 30 I called the vet and made an appointment for today at three o'clock she said that they had one available or they had an 11 o'clock open yesterday so I think I'm gonna call when they open at eight and see if I can take the 11 o'clock just because I don't want her to have to suffer through anything else whatever she's going through if I could get it earlier because at the time I thought she was like kind of getting better but after last night I'm like no I need to get you in right away but yeah I'm gonna work today it feels so weird that it's already Thursday because Monday and Tuesday I didn't work I had jury duty but the week's just gone by so fast look at her just staring out the window window shopping okay so it is 10 45 and i did get honey's appointment switched and i'm just gonna kind of get ready i'm glad i got this hat because i'm literally just gonna throw this hat on over my hair because i look a hot mess and i'm not getting ready so yeah i need a change i'm in my sweatshirt that i always wear my let's lift merch and 95 percent sure that it's dirty but that's okay so i'm just gonna change i am just like taking a lunch break i never take lunch breaks i just work eight straight hours but i'm actually like clocking out for lunch today and her appointment shouldn't take that long so i'm thinking i'm just gonna take my full-on lunch like an hour lunch and like instead of after work working out and getting in cardio i think i'm just gonna get in like my cardio hit that i was supposed to do this morning when i get back from the vet but we'll see how much time that actually takes are you excited to go to the vet huh are you happy to go to the vet? Ow, don't eat my hair. Honey, don't eat my hair. She seems to be feeling fine. It's just she's constantly needing to go outside to go poop and something's wrong with her. So I was running out of time and I just had to throw this sweatshirt back on because I couldn't find anything else to wear. But Honey literally just about slammed her back onto the concrete. Shit. I don't know how to back out of my garage. But yeah, I went to open the tailgate thing because that's how she gets in. And she gets so excited to get in the car and she went to go jump into it. And she's not big enough to jump into it yet. And she slammed her stomach into it and then literally was about to fall flat on her back on the concrete. But I stuck my foot out to where my foot caught her and she didn't fall on the concrete. She fell on my foot, but I'm like, Honey, you are just a little hot mess. So yeah, we are on our way. It is 1056. It's literally only like a four minute drive, not even that. So hopefully we'll make it on time. We'll get in and out and I will have enough time to complete my 20 minutes of hit cardio before continuing the day with work. So yeah, and hopefully I don't have to spend an arm and a leg because vets are so expensive. Are you excited to be here? What are you doing? Are you excited? She's like so excited to be here. Come here. <laughs> oh, Kidoki, I just got done working out. When I got home from Honey's appointment, I had like 17 minutes 
left until I had to clock back in for work. So I didn't do my run then, I just clocked in immediately or whatever. So I just got done doing my run and doing my workout. So I worked out for a little over an hour. While I was working out, I freaking was getting <laughs> some weights off of the weight rack and I smashed my finger in between two of the dumbbells and this finger, I literally didn't even think it was still on my finger. Like I can't even describe the feeling to you. Like I looked down expecting to see my finger on the floor. Not my whole finger, just like this part of my finger, but I'm not even exaggerating. Like I did not think that the tip of my finger was still attached to my finger. Like I literally thought I was going to have to search on the ground for it and pick it up and just like jolt to the hospital because I thought that it was deceased. I thought my finger had fallen off. It feels better now, but I would not be surprised if my finger now doesn't fall off in a few days because that freaking hurt. But yeah, now I'm just gonna make a quick smoothie for my post-workout. Ooh, I need my avocado. I keep forgetting my avocado. If you think I am disgusting for putting avocado in a smoothie, just try it. It literally, I hate that I say it literally all the, sing all the single time, all the time. Like I don't catch myself saying it, but then when I'm editing the videos, I'm like literally, 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 literally. Like you guys are never gonna take me seriously because I say it literally all the time. But back to what I was saying, putting avocado in your smoothie just gives it like this creamy consistency. What are you doing, honey? Look at her. <laughs> Look at them. What are you doing? <laughs> you need to get down. But yeah, it just gives it like this con creamy consistency. It doesn't like make it taste weird or anything. When my stepmom and I went to Estes Park this summer, or last summer, we ate at a Mexican restaurant and their like new flavor of margaritas was avocado margarita. Everybody was like raving about it there and we decided to try it and I posted it on like my Instagram and stuff like that and people were like DMing me and saying, oh my God, that sounds so disgusting. And it wasn't like the best, like we both didn't really love it, but it doesn't, tastes like an avocado. It just has avocado in it and it makes the consistency like more thick and creamy. So it doesn't like make your shakes or your margaritas like taste like an avocado flavor. It just makes them very creamy and just a lot thicker and better. Yes, try it out if you have not already. <laughs> An update on this protein right here. It's the PE Science Vegan Select Protein. It's in the flavor Peanut Butter Delight and I would not get this flavor again. I just, I don't know, it just has a weird taste to it. The one that I had before this, the, what was it? Cinnamon Delight, that one was really good. Well, not really good, but it was good. I would get that one again. Next, I think I'm gonna try the one that Sydney Adams does. I can't remember what brand it is. Oh, One Up Nutrition. I'm gonna get a One Up Nutrition vegan one because she takes those and she's those are really good. So I'm gonna try those ones out. Also, Buff Bunny does one up nutrition too. So, and I'm gonna use Sydney Adams's little discount code to save me some coins to get her some coins because we love supporting our favorite influencers over here. You know, Brittany Lupton, we just gotta support, you know. Oh my god, these frozen strawberries smell so good. Get down! Get down! So, I made my smoothie. It doesn't look the prettiest, but it's pretty good. Mm. Stop! Dog, why? Why do you have to eat everything? Dog, give me that. Let go. Let go. Gosh, she pulls apart Granger's balls and like takes all the stuffing off of it and then like eats it. And I just got it out of her mouth and put it up on the, the coffee table and she got it off the coffee table and ate it again. She literally keeps us on our toes. Oh, I should probably update you about her appointment. Literally. That word again, oh my God. So she, right after I changed the appointment to 11, she hasn't pooped since then. Um, so I think it all cleared up, whatever issue was going on with her. But I still took her and the vet did a, uh, something with her anal wounds, like he literally, I know I said that, but in this case it's useful. Like he literally stuck his fingers up her butt and <laughs> 
Yeah, it was just really weird to watch. She kind of whined a little bit, but she did fine. He said to try that out. He said her right anal gland was like kind of full or something like that. I don't know the terminology for that. So he said hopefully that will help her and if it doesn't to bring her back and we'll try something else. But my bill, I just still can't believe it. It was $15. That's insane. Like the last vet that we used to take Granger and our other dog that we used to have McKenna to, you couldn't even walk out of there without spending at least $300 like for anything no matter what you were going there they were ridiculously overpriced never have I ever only gone to the vet and only paid $15 that's crazy but yeah I'm just gonna sit here drink my smoothie and also my brother texts me and apparently he's on his way he's staying here tonight oh my god my mother-in-law just commented on one of my videos what'd she say oh uh, she commented and said omg i cannot believe i forgot your guys's anniversary what a bad mother-in-law am i so so sorry hope you had a great day that day i feel shame <laughs> Oh God, oh God, what is going on? But yeah, my brother has to do some work in town tomorrow, so he is on his way now and is going to stitch. She just literally did a somersault, like full on somersault. That was so cute. Sorry, I'm getting distracted, but he's on his way to stay. See that? It's so cute. But anyway, he's on his way here to stay with us tonight. He has to get some work done for his company in town tomorrow, early morning. So he's staying here. So it's a shorter drive. I don't know what I have planned for this evening. I need to shower because I feel disgusted. I have sweat all over my body. What are they barking at? So I just made some dinner. I got some salmon, some red potatoes, and green beans. I took a shower after I finished my smoothie and feel so much better. My brother is here and we are just watching. Not really watching, but we have the NFL draft on. But we'll probably change it to something else and watch something. I don't know. I'm feeling like not really watching this since Denver doesn't have any first round draft picks. But yeah, I don't really know what else is on to watch. What? I said some salmon, put red potatoes and green beans. Yep. That's what he said. I can hear her call quite late. She first out when I walked on that pickup. And the horn, she, she was walking over to me. She goes, Quit burning me! She's the biggest baby. Oh, we can watch SpongeBob SquarePants. Huh? I ain't gonna say no. <laughs> There's nothing really else on. Pretty sure I have not seen it. It's season nine. Yeah, it's like new. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what season I ever stopped watching. Season eight. <laughs> you wanna try it? Called, Patrick. Bubba's up, Sammy. Huh? Right, ah. uh, Sister. So it is the next day. Hey, would you stop? I'm trying to wash these sheets here. Last night we literally just, there's the word, literally. Why do I say that? Let me start over. Last night we just sat on the couch until like 9.30 watching Spongebob, The Draft. I can't even remember what else. We just kind of watched it all. And then we went to bed because we were super tired. I know my brother had to get up early to go do work things tomorrow or for today. I just got done working and now I am about to put away my monster stack of clothes over there in the corner that I have put off for far too long. But I just lit literally and i don't care if i use that word hate putting laundry away like it sucks and i hate it so much i don't mind doing laundry and all that stuff i just hate putting it in the closet and putting it away but we're doing that today huh you're so cute you're getting so big yes you are i am getting ready to wash my sheets because they're so dirty well not so dirty but they just haven't been done in a while and they need it i also think i might 
give the dogs a bath. Honey for sure. And Granger needs it, but I'm just like, oh, it's such a pain in the butt to give him a bath. But I was trying to think if it would work to give him a bath like at the same time. Like, I don't know if I'm crazy for trying that or if it would be smart. I don't know. I feel like they're both pretty decent in the bathtub, so it could work. I don't know. I'm scared to try. I just figured I'd continue to vlog today because I didn't ever end it out last night. And you just can spend your Friday night with me also. I'm sure you're not watching this on a Friday night, but it is Friday night tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna get this bed stripped and then we're gonna go make me a snack and a matcha, a protein matcha. I need in here and you're on top of the bed. Why are you on top of the bed? How am I supposed to get the sheets off if you're on top of the bed? You're kind of like right where I need to be. Come here. Ow, don't bite me. <laughs> I just hit my leg on the bed frame. Come on, doggos. Come on. Gotta have my entourage here with me. You guys, there is supposed to be like bad weather here tonight, which I freaking hate. Like I love thunderstorms and I love rain and stuff like that, but like tornadoes and everything like that, I'm just like, mm. Count me out, I do not like them. And they always seem to like have this kind of weather whenever Jared is at work. And he came home today from like his main job, but he went to his other job today at two and works until like 11. So he won't even be home till like midnight. And they're saying that the bad weather is gonna possibly be between like sometime this evening. So I'm like not looking forward to that because I just don't like that. I think I would be okay with it if it was, if we had like an actual basement, but our literal basement is like, you have to go through the floor of our laundry room and it's like not a basement, it's just like a storm shelter thing, but it's just very creepy. It's like cement basically. And it would be so scary to go down there by yourself with your two dogs, like at 11 o'clock at night with a tornado going. Like that just sounds so freaking creepy to me. I've never had to do it. Knock on wood, good God, where's wood? So I hope that I never have to do it, but yeah, they're just saying that there's supposed to be bad weather tonight and I'm standing over my storm shelter. So I just thought I should share that with you guys. So pray for me that that does not happen. I feel like I am doing nothing other with my life than cleaning our kitchen. I feel like I'm doing that 24 seven and I am so done with doing it. I don't understand how it piles up so quickly and I'm just so over it. But anyway, I'm gonna make a protein matcha. So I'm gonna get my matcha that I use. And then I have a little bit of this chai stuff left, which I like to put in there. So I made this the other day and the base for like, cause I make like a matcha latte and the base for like my latte is this own protein. It's plant-based protein. It has 32 grams of sugar, or wow. 32 grams of protein and zero grams of sugar. And I just really, really like these. So I use this as like my latte base part. But first I'm gonna get some matcha. I'm almost out of this. It matches my shirt. <laughs> and then you need to get about like this much of hot water. What are you doing? Stay down. So like that much, just enough so you can stick this in here and mix it all around. You don't want any clumps. You want like it all mixed up. That's why I think it's best to use hot water. By the time you add ice and like your milk and stuff, you could all cold again. I do this for about like 30 seconds to a minute because you want to make sure that it's really mixed up. This is like not an actual like matcha whisk. I just use this frother that I got off of Amazon. I literally got this for this purpose because I feel like it's just easier than using any matcha whisk. But to each their own, some people like to actually use those. But I can link this down below for you guys because I love it. It's so simple. So now I got my matcha whisked. And then we're gonna add some ice. So now she's looking like this. And then I'm just going to add some of this. 
Doesn't matter how much I'm adding because I'm gonna end up drinking the whole thing anyway. Doesn't she look so pretty? And then to finish off, I just add a little bit of the chai Jordan Skinny Syrup just because I really like chai and it tastes good together. Give me a straw, mix her on up. Oh no, it's really full. Mmm, she good. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my protein matcha latte. So I got the kitchen cleaned. I got the dishwasher unloaded, loaded it again. I just made some more of my coffee. It's like really hot right now, so I'm kind of letting it cool before I stick it in the fridge because I don't want it to like shrink the thing that has happened before. And now I'm just gonna make a little snack, I think. I think I'm just gonna have an apple with some peanut butter and a little bit of honey drizzled over it. That sounds pretty good. I've been so obsessed with apples. I bought like a whole 12 pack thing and I only have one left after this. These are potatoes, but I only have one apple left after I ate this one. I've just been so obsessed with fruit lately. It's just so good. My phone officially says that we are in a tornado watch, which I know is not the same thing as a warning, but it's just so weird. Like it's really windy outside, but it's so nice out. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain at all. I'm just going to start putting my clothes away. And I'm gonna watch this YouTube video the Bram fam uploaded. They are starting a reality show and I'm so excited. But Bram T just uploaded a video talking about her opinion of it. So I'm gonna watch that. So I found this in the laundry and this is Granger's handkerchief. He loves this thing. When he sees it, he gets so excited. So I'm gonna see if he remembers it because he hasn't worn it since we got Honey because Honey always just tries to pull it off. So let's see what he does. Look, what is this? What is this? Oh, you're so excited. Are you so excited? Hey, this is not yours. This is exactly why we can't put it on Bubba's. It's because of you. Sit, sit. Hey, you just took my socks. What the hell, dog? Granger, here. Come here. Honey, those are my socks. Sit, Bubba. Good boy. Oh, you're gonna be handsome again. Why am I putting this on you when I'm literally about to give you a bath? There you go. There you go, boys. You're so handsome. You're so handsome. Hey, no. You're gonna leave that alone. Hey, no. Leave me alone. And look who has the bandana in her mouth. Brother, you let her take that from you? Ma'am, that is your brother's. You are such a bully. You are the biggest bully ever. Brother, you let her take this from you? What the heck? off so much and look at this big cloud. It's so big and dark compared to the rest of the sky. Like nothing else looks like that except for that cloud right over my house. Cool. Get in his house! Get in there! Get in! Get in! 
Vlog how kinky you look now. Look at your little curly cues or your kinks in your hair. Looks like you're going back to the 70s. Yes, it does. Sid, good girl. Look at those kinkies. Guess what time it is? Time to get brushed. Yes, it is. Come here. Come here. You want a treat? Shake. Good girl. Sit, brother. Good boy. Come here. Lay down. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're gonna get brushed. You're gonna be a good girl. Hey, come here. Why do you not like getting brushed? It's not even that bad. Am I gonna have to get the peanut butter out? Get it? <laughs> Why do you not like being brushed? Hey, don't eat your hair. God, you are freaking hellion. Do you know that? You know that, right? I guess I'm gonna have to do the peanut butter trick. Little life hack if you ever need to get your dog to do something but they won't listen to you. Just put peanut butter in a bowl or on a plate or something. Works like magic. I'm watching the draft, but they're like popping in some weather updates every now and then. So far it looks like we're in the clear, but you never know. I made some chicken and broccoli and onions in the oven, and then I just threw the chicken and the onions into a tortilla with some spinach, some sour cream, and some cheese, and like made a little wrap thing. My hair's up because I took a shower, and I didn't want to get my hair wet since I just washed it yesterday. Oh my god, broccoli is so good. But I'm just gonna close the video out here because nothing else is happening tonight. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you wanna see next. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Go out and make the world smile. Mm, not good. Pick a doll like Chevy, uh, new age Machiavelli, uh, disagree, don't tell me, uh, now you in infinity, we 98, trust that he be good. The ball like BB don't make no mistakes, got the face.